Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today is Sunday, December the 25th. It is 8.05 a.m. And if you follow my channel, then you know that I got stuck under a load. So I am in my truck this morning in front of a building that never opened on Saturday. I'm not sure if they opened on Friday because I kept calling here all day, got my son to call all day. And at this point, uh, even on Friday, I thought I got set up by the broker because basically, you know, sometimes they just want you to take their load. And he could have just told me that I would have had to kept it until whatever day. But either way, um, you are where you are. God, you know, puts you in alignment with whatever you are. So he could be saving me from something right now. And just so y'all are very, very clear, this is the time and the date. That's my other phone. That's on charge. And what does it say? Okay, hold on, let's see. Is this doing some weird ass shit? Okay, there you go. There y'all go. So a video just went up um that was pre-recorded. It's called Transcending Obstacles. Um, I actually haven't went back to look at it yet because I normally go back over the videos, but um, it was pre-recorded for a time such as now. I know that's one of the things that I said because at the time when I recorded the video, I was just being obedient to what God was saying and to what the Spirit was saying. And they were saying, this video needs to be recorded. I mean, and God always knows what's going to happen. So apparently, whatever the message was, or is, I'll go and I'll hear it and then, you know, I'll get a better understanding of why I was told to record that video then and why I'm stuck here now because when I recorded that video, I was home. Um, right now, I'm not home, okay? So, like, a little bit of light time travel being as though I'm in two different places right now. <laughs> as y'all saw, the video shows that I'm home, which is funny because somebody asked me this morning, um... They text me, Merry Christmas, and I text back, uh, they said, Merry Christmas, what are you doing? And I text, I, matter of fact, they didn't say that. I don't know what the fuck they said. Either way, let me, what the fuck did this person say? Let me, let me not lie to y'all. Because I don't got time. I told y'all I don't even like y'all that much to lie to y'all. So let me tell y'all what I said. So the person says, good morning, beautiful, Merry Christmas. I said, good morning. And they said, how you doing this morning? So I sent a, a gift, Merry Christmas, the, the little animated joint. And it said, and I said, fine, just sitting here. Oh, that's why they asked that. Because it typed in at. I, well, it was only supposed to say, fine, just sitting here. And then they said, sitting weird. And I said, why you asked that? Because I didn't see the text, the at part. And then it says, because you didn't finish your sentence, sitting here at. So I just asked where that's all. And I said, no, that was me finished because I thought I typed what I said. Um, fine, just sitting here. Um, and I sent a laughing face. I'm just sitting here. And then he said, LOL, okay. I was just checking. Okay. Either way, right? So I'm still sitting in the last motherfucking place that I told all y'all I was at. Still in my truck. Still fucking in front of this damn gate to this business. And I don't know if it's until Monday or Tuesday. But either motherfucking way, that's where I'm at. And just so y'all know, I am in Florida. But it's cold every fucking where. So, you know, i just been turning the truck off and on um, as it cools down to make sure that, you know, I don't just freeze to death in this motherfucker. And yes, I can, you know, call an Uber, go to a hotel, do some other shit. But quite frankly, I don't want to move this load because the, the place, the shit's a little bit heavy. It's some wood. And um, the nearest truck stop is a little ways away. So that would be me going back some miles, which I'm not going to do. And I'm not just going to leave it sitting here because yesterday... As I was sitting here at the gate, I noticed a black car kept, like, just pulling up and sitting on the side. Like, they stayed there for a very long time. I'm like, why the fuck is this person sitting there? So, uh, I don't think they thought that uh, there was a person in the truck. Either way, the dude got out and he started walking down the street. Because where I am, their gate is locked. So, um, the dude got out and he started walking past the truck. But, I, you know, I didn't make no moves on nothing. Um, so... 
Then they went back and they got in a car and they left. Because I don't know if they realized I was in here or not. Anyway, long story short, a couple hours later, because I ended up finding, getting an Uber, going to Walmart, picking up some stuff. So, a couple hours later, I noticed this person pull back around, pull up, and pull to the side in the same location. Like, they are watching the truck. Like, oh, there's a truckload of wood sitting here. So, I don't know if they casing the joint or not. But either way... Um, I did lock my doors very securely last night, and I did pull out, you know, my, my weapon tree just in case. And, you know, but either way, I just didn't want to, because I don't want no problems. I just want to deliver this shit and go. But either way, I made peace with a lot of shit, and sometimes that's what you just got to do. Make peace with it, because you are where you are, and ain't shit you could do about it to change it, because ain't nothing in, I mean, I tried to call a million six times, ain't shit I could do about opening the door, the building, the gate, the nothing, and then, you know, can't get the shit off, anyway, so let me read this shit to y'all, we got ten of pentacles energy at the bottom, um, when it came out, the five of pentacles is the last thing, the last card, so this card came out, this card is at the bottom, so apparently there's some wealth, abundance, financial security, some family, long-term success, a contribution, um, an abundance energy that's surrounding somebody thinking, being left out in poverty. So somebody having financial loss, lack mindset, loss, isolation, worry, need, poverty, and um, insecurity. So it's like two sides of one coin. Like, you flip the coin and then it says this. On one hand, you're rich. The other side, you're impoverished. So, um, that's giving me somebody feels left out in the cold from. And also, the Queen of Wands was the last last card before that one. Somebody feeling left out in the cold from a Queen of Wands energy. Okay? So, that's that. And I shuffled these cards so good that what I was going to do was take the top one and the bottom one. Okay? So, we have change and bad health. So, change is a move. We got split the deck, gift, and a coffin. So, I'm going to just take it like that, all right? Because, like I said, and the coffin is upside down. I did shuffle these cards very well. So, this is what's happening right there, right there, and right there. So, change which is somebody moving, because this car looks like somebody moving to a different location. They got the car all packed up, and this, that, and a third, okay? Then we got bad health. This nigga laying in the hospital with a nurse standing beside him. We got a gift. And we got the coffin upside down. So something's not dead. All right. All right. And then let me get you this. So anybody that's home with a family right now, be thankful. I mean, even if you don't have everything that you wanted, be thankful that you're home with your family because another person just called me this morning and I asked them, you know, were they with their family? Because this person is also in transition. And they said, no, they're at a hotel type place because them in there, I guess they overstayed their welcome. So this person is in the middle of a, you know, divorce also. And, um... Or I don't know what the fuck they in the middle of. They wife is a hoe, period. Um, and a drug addict. So whatever they in the middle of, that's what they going through. I'm sure they might be upset about me. Well, hopefully they won't be. But either way, um, that person called me to check on me. And I told them what was happening with me. Then they told me that they were at a hotel. So I said, well, me and you in the same pred predicament then. Because... I'm out in these streets, they out in these streets, they not with their family, I'm not with my family. Because although, you know, we might not be celebrating Christmas like that, we still would have done stuff, and I appreciate being around the family. So, we have Love is Strange, okay? And that is, uh, I don't know what type of animal that is, but somebody could be 27, okay? Love is Strange. And then we have, let me get one more card for you. So, love is strange. Oh, what happened to my... 
Okay, so if something seems a little off, like my phone is wanting to do some weird ass shit. So hopefully, let me plug it in and see if that works. I don't know if that worked, but either way, it doesn't even make a sound like it came on. Anyway, let me hurry up and get this for y'all because I don't want the phone to cut off and then I'm going to be mad. All right? All right. Let's get you one more card from here. And then I'm going to get y'all a couple of Zodiac signs a little bit just to see. Okay, so we got uh, an important end and a new beginning. So if you notice, I did read the cards from the end only because the energy at the bottom was there. So that has been a thing. Somebody could be 45 or 54. We have a storm angel, a collision of belief styles and attitude, attitudes and energies. So something that you're about to run into. So collision is running into. We got Marie Masquerade, Glamour, Intrigue, and Drama. Okay. And if I can remember that card, it's like somebody wearing a mask and then, you know, then it being uncovered. So somebody could be 35 or 53. Um, then uh, somebody could be 41 or the birthday could be on the 14th. All right. Um, then we have dried flower fairy, sweet memories. So thinking about something from the past, somebody's thinking about you. Um, so this is probably somebody that you've engaged with. So your birthday could be on the 11th. 11 could be your favorite number or significant for you. Or this could pertain to something that happened in November. Okay. Last November or something that's about to happen um, going into 2023 November. So sweet memories. But sweet memories would make me. Oh, it could have been November of last year. Okay. So something significant about November of last year. Okay. And then we have. Um. Autumn is my last chance. So when was autumn? I don't know, but that could also be why it was November. I don't think that was autumn. I think that's August, but I don't know. Look it up. Autumn is my last chance. Please don't lose hope. So something was done in all. Oh, that's why something was done in autumn and or that was when it was finished. So please don't lose hope. But autumn is over. So somebody's thinking about, oh, that was my last chance. This person looks very, very sad. He looks very, very fucking creepy as well, but hey. And then we have the Lantern Fairy, a clear solution. Somebody's shedding light on a situation. Um, Pink Lotus Fairy, a time for spirit. So meditation, going into your spirit guides, going into the uh, spirit realm. So I don't know why I'm hearing time travel. Somebody wants to travel back to rewind. And then it's a time to be brave. Somebody's trying to rewind. That's also sweet memories. But there's two situations going on here. Because I'm got i getting an old something and a new something. Collisions of beliefs and styles. Collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energy. It don't feel like it's going to be good. So that's a third energy also. storm angel so whatever this is is about to create some type of havoc but that's yeah an important end for a new beginning so that would give me that there would be a tower somewhere um that would have happened or that is going to happen so we got capricorn we got libra Okay, we got air signs, we got a Taurus, we got a Libra, we got a Capricorn out here. Okay, so these are the energies of the signs that, that you're dealing with or could be dealing with. And then we got a Cancer. Okay, so all the air signs, we got a Cancer, we got a Taurus, we got a Libra. So Libra is an air sign. Then we got Cancer. Cancer is a water sign. Air sign Le uh, is uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right. Y'all know what signs y'all are. Take it how it go. We got uh, earth, earth signs at the bottom of the deck. So, all right. So, first of all, starts off with celebrations, okay? Three of Cups energy. Celebrating friendships, collaborations, creativity, um, community, which is your family, could be your soul tribe or just your community in general, and happiness. Um, 
also mean could be three people together um create an expression expansion and idea of growth the first stages of completion or the first stages of putting something together and moving into completion okay so then we have a page of pentacles a manifestation a financial opportunity some skill some development some ambition some desire and some diligence moving along right so somebody that wants to push forward maybe in a collaboration with a group of people somebody's leaving um with the eight of cups we do have a change here so somebody's disappointed somebody feels abandoned somebody feels withdrawn somebody feels like they want to just escape and walk away and leave a situation behind um there's some manipulation that's been happening but also manifestation practicality skill absolution um some decisions that need to be made in business and it talks about somebody being arrogant it says ego but normally that's arrogant somebody being arrogant overly arrogant in a situation somebody could have been arrogant because of the fact that they may have been had more than you and all of a sudden now their life is changing so somebody is being humbled in a situation a king of cups energy that's aquarius and pisces um emotionally balanced compassionate somebody is very diplomatic somebody that is in control of their feelings uh, or somebody that just likes to be controlled con uh be in control of a situation this person is a very supportive leader very tolerant and very empathic so this person can pick up on energies okay um we have the ace of wands here new projects new beginnings inspiration upsurge an urge to create so wanting to create and then you got collaborations over here but somebody's leaving the team somebody's walking away um or somebody has already walked away so there's desire willpower potential beginnings new beginnings and uh extra beginnings i don't know why i want to say extra so there's more shit happening just than it's like more than meets the eye new opportunities and growth um I don't know why these cards are falling like that, but I think they're still in the right order. We have a ten of swords here. Painful endings, deep wounds, betrayal, loss, crisis, a failure, a collapse, a defeat. So we have one team ending and another team beginning. We also have somebody that is in their feelings and emotions because they just got broken up with, a separation, a divorce, or something. Um, also could be a split up of a business and a relationship or a friendship, a partnership. We have... Um, ultimate completion the final manifestation the results of true will recognized and um it's like conjunction realignment and endings so a, again a change something was bad in bad health the group the marriage the family unit was in bad health needs to be a change some growth coming on then collision of beliefs we as people grow they change so it could just be that you need to be on your journey and they need to be on their journey plain point blank period we could have not even had a issue other than the fact that we just don't agree so we can agree to disagree but either way because the the beliefs are so different you go your way i go my way and we don't got to be upset angry or mad behind it but apparently this is causing somebody to have an issue um, we have nine of pentacles energy here, fruits of your labor, rewards, luxury, self-sufficiency, financial independence. Okay. So being able to make your own money and, and say your own piece. So somebody may have just wanted to do their own thing. Like I need some freedom. Um, I don't like the way that this is going and I just want to go my own way and do my own thing. Again, agreeing to disagree. This is the way y'all set it up. I don't like it. So y'all keep that, have at that, I'm going to go this way. No harm, no foul. We don't got to be angry or any of that. But what I'm also getting is somebody else actually thought that they that was a good idea. They didn't stand up for it. So they stayed with the team. Somebody else rolled out. Um, please don't lose hope. Please don't lose hope in your plan. So somebody hasn't, their plan hasn't come to fruition yet. 
and the spirits are saying please don't lose hope but meditate 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 because whatever it is it's going to come from within the you got it you got the plan you got the play there's a clear solution here you just need to stop think and listen um so we have the seven of pentacles here long-term view hard work perseverance being diligent sustainable results and investment and i keep hearing press on like keep pressing you're on the right track regaining or losing control mastery choices responsibility myth and secrecy so uh regaining control maybe you thought about going in a different direction from where you already set out but i, I think you're very very close so whatever it is that you're doing keep doing it don't stop um somebody feels like they're losing control of a situation no you're it's like the thing like you turned around right when you were about to hit the 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 your pinnacle moment so keep going you planted seeds in very fertile soil so yeah just keep going keep going mastery choices responsibility myth secrets so um somebody could need something right now from whatever the seeds is that you plant okay well i need this amount of money from that but i can't touch that because i know it's gonna grow so that's giving me investment vibes something that you invested in you might need money from or to recover some money from but as of now you can't touch it because if you do it's gonna fuck up the the long haul so it's uh, a visionary seeing things for you know later also, we have a Queen of Wands energy here. Courage, confident, independence. Somebody very focused. Somebody that has a zest for life. Determination and joy. That's you, the, All of these energies right here, these female energies, are giving me very nurturing, very healing, very like grandmother vibes, like how your grandmother would feel. Not these new damn grandmothers that be out popping pussy. I'm talking about your old grandma, Big Mama. It's giving me Big Mama vibes. Like, you know they home in the kitchen cooking and when you walk into their house it smell like good food and it's warm in that bitch um so it's giving me warmth it's giving me uh like ancestral type vibes somebody feels left out in the cold though somebody feels left out in the cold from and i need to get another car because that's not giving me like or somebody wants to come back in from out of the cold somebody wants back in the big mama house okay it's warm at Big Mama House. It's cold out here in these streets. Fucking, it's cold in motherfucking Florida. And you know, apparently, this, this shit's fucked up out this bitch when it's cold in Florida. It don't be never cold in Florida, okay? It's never cold. Look, I don't know what type of sentences I was given, but okay, it's never cold in Florida. So we got the devil out here being tied to a situation, which is 155. 155. So something could be significant significant about the time 155 some could something could be significant about january 5th or january uh, no that would be may may 15th that's what that would be or somebody's birthday could be on the 15th but anyway feeling tied to a situation your shadow somebody might need to be doing some shadow work i don't know why i'm putting these words like that somebody may need to do some shadow work um i'm getting i don't know why because i said something about these hoes being illiterate but um i think i was supposed to say incompetent but somebody feels like they may think they're incompetent but you're not um i don't know why that just came up but okay um, somebody's gaining justice from all of this bullshit whatever it was that came into your life that was caused due to cause you any type of pain hurt and agony when you basically was just trying to help um and somebody was trying to hinder you the whole damn way gaining justice from that so somebody feeling tied to a situation stuck um or somebody just out here drinking and drugging and living the best life and don't give a fuck. So that could also be why a person got put into poverty. You got put in poverty poverty because you wasn't doing the right shit. Um, I guess you was doing the right shit by your standards, but you wasn't doing the right shit by the group standards. So somebody could have been drinking, fucking up the money because I'm hearing misappropriation of funds. Also, four of pentacles out there at the bottom of the deck. That's somebody not using money in a, uh, or not having a good relationship with money. Um... 
so hoarding and that type of shit that's not how money works it's like a flow that has to be done so something about this whole setup there was no flow um somebody may have been having sex with somebody else in a group also because we having sexual or somebody just could be a hoe um period but there's some type of destructive behavior that was creating the, the group to be off balance or creating a partnership to be off balance or creating a friendship to be off balance Either way, somebody could have been codependent. Cool somebody could have been heavily on the materialistic side. Gimme, 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 gimme. Bitch, no. Somebody could be toxic, period. Their whole actions and attitude is all about them. And they think they the greatest thing since sliced bread when sit the fuck down. Be humble, sit down. So God humbling somebody in a situation. But we got several different angles happening here. But somebody's moving. Somebody didn't already left. Somebody thinks the situation is over when it's not over. Um, there's a gift on the table for someone for being, you know, staying on the right path. And then we have a knight of swords out here. Somebody that's very ambitious, very action oriented, very driven to succeed. Somebody that's fast thinking and somebody that is standing and de defending their beliefs. So again, storm angel, a collision of beliefs attitudes and energies and then we got the end of the deck knight of swords somebody that is defending their beliefs so there's a battle about to go down between two people and it could be as simple as you know a, a, a big ass battle it could be a battle in the ethers over these two energies and these two spirits and i'm hearing clash of the titans so we got two energies that are high-ranking individuals that are about to go up against each other or they just better merge very peacefully because that's all i'm getting um i'm willing to back down if you're willing to back down but i'm not gonna back down first so negotiations i'm hearing more negotiations in the ethers because there's an attitude and an energy that wants somebody to be and everybody can be submissive to everybody but that's what I'm hearing. Clash of the fucking Titans. So something is happening where it's like big energy coming up against each other. And all that's going to do is create havoc. Y'all don't need that. We don't need that. All right. So I'm going to do, uh, I think I need to check that anyway. So yeah, next reading is going to be about that. And we can already see what these two energies are about to do because for some reason I'm getting ain't neither one of them backing down. And that could be why everything's in bad health. But if these two energies come together, they would create something. Ooh, I like that feeling. My back just lit up. They would create something amazing. Yesterday I was online looking at something and it was like um, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. They had them in a car together. And all the comments was, if these two can learn to be friends, they would be unstoppable. Because even the fact that they was laughing and how they are, like, you know, because both of them kind of silly. They they very serious, but both of them are very silly energies. They, you know, so they were saying how if these two energies could come together, they would be fucking unstoppable and that's what i'm getting so for it to be storm angel at the beginning and a knight of swords somebody very ambitious both of these energies have high like high drive but something about their belief systems are different which is making them like yeah nobody wants to bow down and i don't think nobody has to bow down let's just agree to disagree that's it that's all Everybody wins. But if you don't, it's going to be seven of swords energy out this bitch. Everybody loses and it creates havoc for generations. Employment for and legacy. So employment for other people, other families, your legacy, their legacy, everybody's legacy is involved. Oh, and <laughs> that's why it says love is strange. How can you love somebody like that? Because you love that. And that's funny because it's like a thin line between love and hate. Um, I My friend laughs at me all the time because I'm, I'm always saying like, if a person ain't never think about killing you, they don't love you. Because <laughs> only a person that you love knows how to get under your skin in the right. I mean, yeah, that could be a little bit toxic, but fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Um, but only a person that loves you knows how to get under your skin like that. People that you don't give a fuck can't get under your skin. It's just a fact. 
I mean, let me tell me somebody that you're going to let get under your skin that don't know nothing about you. I'm going to be looking at you like you crazy, bitch. You, you don't move me. So go the fuck on. But somebody that you love knows how to push them buttons. And even sometimes I still look at them like they crazy and I laugh. I told you I laugh at weird shit. So sometimes, you know, I have laughed, you know. But other times I'll be thinking, you got me fucked up. Anyway, I learned to master uh, the cutoff. I ain't fucking with you and I ain't talking to you right now. So guess what? You deal with yourself. So that's how I learned that. But Pink Lotus, Lotus Fairy, get it out the mud. These two people are get it out the mud energies. These are very, 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 very. And this is just another scenario because I don't know why that ended up being the last one. So you got all your other shit. But then you got two people that are. Why am I clapping like that? <laughs> <laughs> that must be something somebody does okay they clap when they talk all right thank you for coming to my channel go with god